right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night in. exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Epic Lee has stepped inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Vitor Petrino! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the Right Herb Dean, our third man Ready. in the octagon for this one. Ready. Let's do it. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't learn that overnight. Time kick to the body for the champion. Back to the jab now, no good. Great block. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. That was a slick transition. Oh, in the mouth. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, big right hand, yes. 
And now that jab starting to get established. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, that's a big spinning back kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, back and forth we go. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Straight right, he misses. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard. And Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Take down defenses there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his head. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Under a minute to go. Oh, perfectly done as he gets the takedown. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he escapes. He got out of the lead. Wow, that is great submission defense. Lee gets back up. with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh. Round two is next. All right, take a seat. Relaxa e respira. Olha, você está sendo muito agressivo na luta, tá? E o tempo você você tem que focar. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. You saw him work his submission game a bit in the previous round, and he is all offense, man. He's not afraid to get into a bad position to try to close the fight. Most times, we don't see guys that attack as much off of their back. This guy, you never have any place to rest. A huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 
All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Leg kick is there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Just over three minutes to go. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Front kick by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. There. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. That lead left hand has been a weapon for him all night. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes. elbow right to the head. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Win the scramble, win the scramble. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more tight game team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing like Big ground and pound. His nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Continuing to work out of the half guard. This is where he wants to be. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. 30 seconds. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Seconds winding down in round two. head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Two Stop. rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. 
You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And, man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the right side position coming here to try to stop this fight. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Good jab. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one. Like, oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. In the half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack his arm triangle. It's tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limp. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're going to limp. It, it's, it's natural. you got to check these kicks right now or that's going to happen. Oh, nice. Nice. Got that single collar tie locked in. Two minutes remain in the round. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. Let's get some points. Let's get that taken. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big right hook there by the champ. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. And a miss with the right hook. Nice kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh! Oh my God, he's hurt, he's hurt. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round, really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, he didn't seem too phased, but that high kick definitely got through. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Lands the low kick. Under 20 seconds now to go. Final seconds of round three.
And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship right. round. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round as a possible fuck. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh! Out of range with that one. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice body kick there. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Now they separate. Beautiful head kick last from this guy. Back and forth we go. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. He's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, both, both landed. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. And now some distance as they pull apart. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Way to hide that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking effect on it. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He has got to change something. Go after that cut. Go after that cut. Strike. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Unable to land with that punch. Nice. Nicely done. Under a minute now to go. Nice jab by Lee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not 
sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish that. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Ten seconds now to go in the round. He's hurt. 20 down, five to go. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Right on the button. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Man has his chin been tested early. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes along. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Good jab there by the champion. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Fast jab lands there. to connect with the right. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's hard to watch. Man. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Oh, with authority, the body. Takedown defense holds up. Just misses with the jab there. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Nice left hand. Nice jab. Just missed with the leg kick. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Oh, nice takedown defense. Nice uppercut. Two minutes now to go in this one. Beautiful kick lands there. Lee's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside physician. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Big, straight left. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. Oh, he got to the spot. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. 
Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Quick jab. One minute to go in the fight. Clean with the right hook. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And the strike lands clean. Lee gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, crisp boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Oh, nice little right hook there. Lee's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Vitor! There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the...